well people I'm Dave of Dave's Farm and this is a subject I never talked about before and you probably all wondered I have an addiction I've had this addiction since uh, probably seven or eight years old and it's still to this day mostly taken over my life sometimes it's caused me a lot of problems and it's part of the reason why I'm having a lot of problems right now and haven't been making too many YouTube videos that's for sure Well, my addiction is hoarding. I guess you could say I'm a hoarder. Well, I guess the first thing you could say I hoard is cats. I've got four of them. And who needs four cats, although I love them dearly, but it's maybe too many. Let's see if they'll come if I call them. Kitty! Oh, there they are. Oh, there's the last one. See? They love me dearly, too. Well, I originally only wanted two cats, but two people returned kittens that I gave away when they were adults. So now I've got four. I don't regret it. I have many more addictions. Let's get into that now. Well, there's a stack of VCRs. Who needs VCRs anymore? There was a time when I had 300 VCRs. I would garbage pick and fix them and sell them. And for a while I made some money at it. These ones work, that's why I just don't have the heart to throw them away. I fixed them a few years ago, but I haven't even plugged one in in three years. Everybody uses DVDs now. And televisions. Oh man, was I addicted to televisions. I hoarded them like you wouldn't believe. There was a time about 15, 18 years ago where I had over 500 of them. Thank God now I only have about 25 of them. None of them are those new thin flat screens, they're just all CRT TVs, mostly the big 27 inch screen ones, but still, they work too. Haven't sold one in years, but it's, I just don't have the heart to throw away a perfectly good working TV that might have cost seven or eight hundred or nine hundred dollars a few years ago. You know, it's not even a little one, the big ones. Yep, lawnmowers too. There was a time when I had over 300 lawnmowers. Now I've only got about 25, it's considering that I got rid of those 150 lawn boys a couple weeks ago. And cars! Well, in the last few weeks I've just gotten rid of 53 of my cars and I've still got lots more. Oh my god! See, that got me in trouble, having too much stuff hoarding. That's why I had to remove them. I didn't want to. They were making me a good income on YouTube. You know when you're a hoarder, Every time you get a new building or another place to store your stuff, you think that you'll never need any more. It just always looks like there's so much space in there. When you first walk in there and look around, you'll think that'll always be enough. Well, this garage was is part of my homestead here. And I bought that 25 years ago when I moved here. And when I moved out of my parents' house when I was a young 23-year-old lad, I thought that was going to be all the space I ever needed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, within a year, it was totally crammed. <laughs> I needed to buy a farm. And then I just built that big building on it. Thought I would never fill that space, and now my building's full. And then there's the air conditioners. Oh my god, do I ever have a lot of those. That's another story. Now let's talk a little bit about the mindset of a hoarder. What makes a hoarder a hoarder? Well, when I'm driving by the street, and I see an air conditioner in the garbage, or a fridge, or a lawnmower, TV, something like that. I think that thing has value. How could it just be laying there, out in the street like that? If I don't get it, someone else will, or the garbage man will. For sure it's going to disappear. And I know someday I may use that, or I might be able to sell it, or I might be able to fix it. So it's like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Grab it now, or lose it forever, and then lose sleep worrying about what I could have did with it. Or if uh, I could have sold it, or how much money I could have made on it. So, I pick it up, and I have to put it someplace. Well, at first your house gets filled, then your garage gets filled. Sometimes you borrow people's neighbors' places to store stuff, or rent them like I did at first. This drove my parents crazy when I was a young man, I lived with them. My dad called it monopolizing his garage, and he kicked me out and forced me to buy this house. He found it, and it had this big garage. 
And he also found my farm and says, now you can build your own building and put your junk there. I'm just sick of it. Well, hoarding has made me enough money that I was able to afford a house and eventually afford a farm. So it hasn't been all bad. Right, kitty? Aww. I love hoarding kitties. Mmm, bud. Am I hoarding catnip too? This is a lot of bud. Pure bud. Right, kitty? You want some? Kitties! Look! Come on, guys, where are you now? Got something for you. Look! Catnip. Mmm. Look at that. <laughs> You've been jonesing for a long time. This is the first time I've given my cat some of my new stock from 2009. He's gobbling it all up and he's going to be hallucinating soon. Right, Teddy? <laughs> and Mommy's going to overdose. That's the mother of Teddy. <laughs> Just been too busy, guys, with all the cleaning up at the farm and all the hassles I've been having lately to get into mailing my catnip out to everybody who wants to buy it, but haven't sold any yet. It's still all available. Lots of seeds. And as you can see, lots of happy customers. <laughs> Just trying to get a mouthful. You almost think they're vegetarians the way they're eating that stuff up. Maybe I even hoard videos. I am one of the top video makers for quantity on YouTube, that's for sure. But that's all good. Sometimes hoarding, like I explained before, can make a lot of money. This does. And now back to air conditioners, my biggest OCD or, com or compulsive obsessive disorder. That's what hoarding really is. Last year I got rid of 466 units when I cleaned up in the fall. Took them in for scrap. You know I used to sell them and make fairly good income off them. But times have changed, cheap Chinese ones. Yep, their value's gone down by 90%, so now in most cases they're worth more for scrap than they are selling them. So, still have a thousand left, stacked seven feet high, taking up all this good space I could be using in my shop, making better videos, or just having a lot more fun, or working on things. Well, that's my next project now that the farm's cleaned up outside. It's going through these hordes of units and cashing them in for their least value scrap. <laughs> well, if it wasn't for air conditioners, which was my greatest source of income over the last couple decades, up till I retired a few years ago, Day's Farm wouldn't be here. That's kind of how I made the greatest part of my money. And that's why I've held on to the last echelons of them for so long. So even though hoarding is an OCD, a mental disorder, I have learned to have some control of it. And I've done very well off of it, and I've got into trouble, like with all those cars. It's made me a lot of money. Of course, I've dealt with other mental disorders too, for example, manic depression, and I've learned how to control that too. And when I was in my manic cycles, I used that to have all the energy to fix all those air conditioners and make lots of money. Now that that's under control, I'd like to wind life down and just enjoy my retirement. I don't need all this junk. So, pack rat I am, and always will be, but that's what made Dave of David's Farm who he is today. 
So, enjoy. It's been a long, rocky road.